Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about how to draw a line in Matplotlib library of Python programming course. Once we are drawing the line in line chart, how to change the style of your line, how to change the width of your line, how to change the color of your line. These are the points that we have to discuss in this video. First, how to draw a line. Okay, so this is the example for drawing a line by considering these data points. First data point is 0, 5. Second data point is 1, 10. Third data point is 2, 15. Fourth data point is 3, 20. Fifth data point is 4, 25. In each and every data point, the first coordinates can be taken on the values of x-axis. The second coordinate represents the values that we are taken on the y-axis. Okay. On the x-axis, what are the values we are taken? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is the uh, x-axis. On the x-axis, we have to take the list of values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. On the y-axis, we are taking the values 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, these are the list of values that we are taken on the y-axis. y is equal to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now, we are taking one x value and one y value. We are getting the data point 0, 5. This is the first data point. 1, 10. This is the second data point. 2, 15. This is the third data point. 3, 20. This is the fourth data point. 4, 25. This is the fifth data point. We have to draw the line between these data points. We are getting the line chart. Okay. So, this is the x axis. This is the y axis. This is the title, plotting of data points using markers. So, this is called as solid circle is called as marker. Okay. How many number of markers are there? How many number of data points are there? That number of markers are there. Here, five data points are there. First one, second one, third one, fourth one and fifth one. So, 5 markers are available. Okay. Next, once we are drawing the line between these data points, how to change the style of a line? For that purpose, we have to use a parameter called line style parameter. That can be represented with ls. ls, LS is equal to solid. Okay. LS is equal to solid. We are getting this type of style. Okay. LS is equal to dashed. Okay. That line can be represented with dashes. LS is equal to dotted. Within the double quotes, we have to write dotted. The line can be displayed with dots. LS is equal to dash dot. 1 dash, 1 dot, 1 dash, 1 dot, 1 dash, 1 dot. Okay. So, in this way, the line can be displayed. Okay. Here, we have to write line style is equal to, within the double quotes, we have to write dash. Otherwise, we have to write ls is equal to, within the double quotes, we have to write dash. Either this format we are using or this format we are using, there is no problem at all. Okay. But one condition is there is no space between line and style. Okay. So, you have to keep that point. Okay. 
line style is a single parameter without any spaces okay if you have any doubts then simply we have to use ls okay next to change the width of a line we have to use a parameter called line width parameter simply it can be represented with lw okay so lw is equal to within the double quotes we have to give some integer value okay this integer value represents the width of the line okay another one line width is equal to within the double quotes we have to give 20 here there is no space between line and width without any space we have to write line width parameter so whatever the value we are getting we are uh, given after the equal to symbol that value can be given within the double quotes okay so these points keep in mind next one how to change the color of a line to change the color of a line we have to use a parameter called line color parameter that line color parameter can be represented with only c c is equal to within the double quotes we have to write red otherwise C is equal to within the double quotes we have to give R okay both formats are correct either this format we are using or this format we are using okay line color parameter is not there only we have to write C C is C is nothing but line color if you use L I N E C O L O R we are getting the error instead of using the line color simply we have to use c okay so up to now we have to discuss about how to draw a line how to change the style of a line how to change the color of a line how to change the width of a line okay so now we can go for uh, execution in python interpreter here we have to use google collapse without installing the matplotlib library we have to draw the charts different charts by simply importing the matplotlib library now we can go for the execution whatever the points that we are discussed that points can be displayed on the screen of google collapse now this is the screen of google collapse first we have to import the matplotlib library import by click on this video button this line is executed successfully after getting the tick mark okay next we have to import the pyplot module in matplotlib library to draw the charts so pyplot module is mainly used for draw the charts so that we have to import matplotlib dot pyplot click on this video button this line is executed successfully next we have to provide the alternative name for matplotlib dot pyplot import matplotlib dot pyplot as as plt 
here plt is the alternative name for matplotlib dot pyplot so whenever we are using matplotlib dot pyplot at that place simply we have to use plt because plt is the alternative name for matplotlib dot pyplot okay next now i am taking some val list of values on the x axis is 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 next i am taking a list of values on the y axis is 5 comma 10 comma 15 comma 20 comma 25 comma 30 okay next we have to plot the line between these six points first point is 0 comma 5 point second one is 1 comma 10 third one is 2 comma 15 fourth one is 3 comma 20 fifth one is 4 comma 25 sixth one is 5 comma 30 so plt dot here plot function is used for draw the line chart x comma y to display the plot we have to use a function called plt dot show now execute this code by click on the video button see this one we have to get the line between these points 0 comma 5 1 comma 10 2 comma 15 3 comma 20 4 comma 25 5 comma 30 but data points are not displayed here at that time we have to use a parameter called marker marker is equal to within the double quotes we have to give simple o small o click on this video button we are getting this one the first point is 0 comma 5 point the second point is 1 comma 10 point the third point is 2 comma 15 point the fourth point is 3 comma 20 point fifth point is 4 comma 25 sixth point is 5 comma 30 point okay now we have to change the line style so this is called as a line we have to change the line style okay for that one we have to use a parameter called line style okay l i n e s t y l e line style is equal to i am giving dashed now execute this code so the line can be displayed with dash okay next the line style can be changed with dotted now again we have to execute this code the line style can be changed with dots next one is the line style can be changed with a dash dot see this one one dash after that dot dash dot dash dot in this way the line can be displayed okay here we have to write complete line style parameter or we have to use ls ls is equal to i am giving solid so click on this video button so here this is the line style is equal to solid line style can be also represented with ls next we have to use another parameter called 
line bit line bit is equal to within the double quotes we are giving the width of the line value in integers i am giving 5 so now we have to execute this code so see this one width of the line can be changed from the default value the default width of a line is a 0 0.8 so that can be changed from 0 0.8 to 5 okay next line width value is i am giving 2 so see this one so here width of the line value is equal to 2 okay next here i am giving one more parameter marker size ms is equal to 20 so marker means this dot so this is marker size is equal to 20 now line bit also can be changed to 10 now see this one so width of the line is also changed okay next one here we are also giving line bit is represented with lw lw is equal to i am giving only 3 this one okay so line style can be represented with ls line width can be represented with lw okay next parameter is line color line color can be represented with the c c is equal to within the double quotes i am giving red so the line color can be changed from blue to red color by executing this code see this one line color can be changed from blue to red here also we have to write full name of the color so that is red so there is no problem at all next one is here i am giving c is equal to orange orange the line color can be changed from red to orange see this one next one i am giving green line color is equal to green so the line color can be changed from orange to green yes the line color is also changed okay so here we are using three parameter ls is nothing but line style lw is nothing but line width c is nothing but line color so these are the three parameters we have discussed in this video next as we discussed in the previous so we have to provide the label plt dot x label plt dot x label within the double quotes we have to write the name of the x axis next we have to provide the label for y axis by using plt dot y label within the double quotes we have to give the name of the y axis next one we have to provide the title for the chart plt dot title within the double quotes we have to give the title so that is line style comma color comma width in line chart so this is the title once we are executing this code so see this one x axis name is x axis 
y-axis name is y-axis title of this chart is line color line style color width in line chart next one i am taking one more axis z axis z is equal to i am giving the values as 10 20 30 25 30 27 34 now we have to plot multiple lines at that time we have to use plt dot plot x comma y so this line for plotting the line between x and y next i am giving one more plt dot plot here i am giving x comma z x comma z comma marker is equal to i am giving here star comma ms is equal to 20 comma ls is equal to line style is equal to here dashed comma line width is equal to 3 line color is equal to blue now see this one by executing this code dashed lw is not a parameter yes here double quotes is missing now execute this code and one more is invalid syntax c is equal to blue plt dot plot x comma z marker ms is equal to 20 ls is equal to dashed lw is equal to double quotes here also missing so see this one okay we have to plot the line between x axis and y axis is this one this one this line is drawn between x axis and y axis next one this line is drawn between x axis and z axis okay so in this way we have to draw multiple lines we have to draw multiple lines by plotting the chart between different axes okay so this line is used for draw the line between x and y axis okay x list and y list this line is used for draw the line between x axis and z axis okay and one more line is also drawn plt dot plot only x i am taking so see this one here this is this one okay so here uh, solid line we are getting okay here i am giving marker <coughs> is equal to within the double quotes i am giving cap symbol next one marker size is equal to i am giving only 10 ls line style is equal to i am giving dash dot line width i am giving is Three 
line width is also three. Next one, C is equal to I am giving orange. Again, we have to execute this code. So, see this one. We are getting okay three lines. Okay, multiple lines are also drawn by using so plot function. Okay, so this bottom line represents this one, and the middle one is uh, this one, and the first one is uh, this one. So, in this way, we have to draw multiple lines in a line chart by considering three parameter line style that is ls line width that is lw line color that is c okay so in this way we have to plot line chart with three parameters so i hope all of you understand this concept if you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment box. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really like this session, please forward this video to your friends and classmates. Please click on the like button if you really like this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, Dibbela Srinivasarao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.